All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a trek back to my home, okay? And I only have one piece of food on me. I should probably grab more food before I leave. Some cookies. Why not? I have a million of them. I might as well take the cookies with me, right? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back to my, my home, and there I'm going to drop off a bunch of shit. Uh, what do I want to bring with me? I'm trying to think, what do I actually want to bring with me over there? Hmm. Oh, man. What would be important to bring back with me that I, I might need back at the home base? None of the fish. None of that shit. Beetroot seeds. That's right. I need the beetroot seeds to plant beetroots. I'm glad I remembered that. Oh, what else? Hmm. You know what I should do? I should take half the name tags. That way I'll have half on me and put them back at the base and leave half here to name stuff. So that way no matter where I am, those are there and available to name stuff, okay? I should grab all the enchantment books for sure. Because those are completely pointless here because I have no enchantment table here. Yep. No enchantment books there. I guess technically I should grab all the weapons too. And the, uh... The, the, uh, the, the fishing poles. Okay, anything else I want to take with me? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything else here that's really, really essential to bring with me at this point. Um. Except for maybe the sign, but I could always make a sign back, back there. The gems I'm just going to leave here for trading purposes. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I got the two boats. Yep, I got the two boats. Alright, what we're going to do, we're going to head back to my home base. And in my home base, we're going to try to grab some of the items that I need for trade to come back here, okay? Italian Crow, to me, a dollar. says, Ciao, film me, Plassi. Villa Zarmi, I guarda dopo una dura giornata di lavoro nella miniera. Carbol. Great. That one went right over my head. Usually I can understand what he's saying. I don't have a clue what he just said, and I probably butchered it too. But let's find out. Let's see what he actually said. I, I want to see what this says. I'm going to try to translate it. Let's see. Let's see if this works. It might not work. Not what I wanted. Translate Italian to English. Hi, Phil. I like to relax and watch after a hard day at the coal mines. <laughs> you work at a coal mine? Holy shit. Well, wow. That's a tough job, dude. Seriously, that's a really tough job, Italian crow. If you actually work at a coal mine, I give you a lot of credit, dude. That's hard fucking labor. Uh, well, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the dollar tip. Sit back, relax, chill out. And let's head out. We're going to head out back home. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot a bed. Oh, that's not good. Dude, I won't be able to sleep. Nah, 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 nah. That's a bad move, especially because I just fished and I didn't sleep, right? Yeah, I need a bed. I gotta have a bed. And it's getting dark, too? Holy shit, that would have been a huge mistake. I don't think I have a bed in storage. Did I ever see Zoolander? I saw it a million years ago. I don't really remember the movie besides some of the stupid Ben Stiller stuff in it. The stupid stuff he does in the movie. I don't remember it that well. So the problem is I give all my, villager, my, all my beds away to villagers. Oh, excuse me. So I don't have a spare bed to take with me. I don't have any wood to make another bed, I don't think. Okay. 
Okay. What's up, Derek? How's it going, man? <clears throat> he says, uh, Derek says, if I get a dog eventually, I'm going to have a hard time deciding between a smaller big dog because small dogs seem to bark a lot. Well, we got to remember, the, the way it works with a dog is the big dog doesn't feel like it has to be loud because it's such an imposing presence. It's a big dog that it doesn't feel like it needs to really do that stuff. Small dog, because it's so small, feels like it needs to be the loudest to try to scare other things around it. Because if you know it's such a weakling dog, you know what I mean. So in reality, the small dog has to be the loudest one. Um, shit! What is this? Get out of here! There we go. Bed. There, I made a bed. Good. So that's why those small dogs are always so fucking loud, yipping, yipping constantly. You know, they're trying to get attention. They're trying to get noticed. They're trying to make a scene. So that they, you know, oh, I'm, imp I'm an imposing dog. Look, I'm an imposing dog. Like, no, you're not. You're actually really small and cute. But you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know any better. Okay. Right, when you're powerful, pretend to be weak. When you're weak, proje project strength. Says, uh, I cured it with my brain. And he's absolutely right. That's the mentality of the dog. So... Yeah, chances are if you get a small dog like a Chihuahua or whatever, that thing will be cute as hell, but it's going to be loud and annoying. Get a big dog, it'll bark every once in a while, but usually you can train a big dog to not be so annoying. Um, it all depends on the dog. Much like any animals, it all depends on the personality of the animal. Every animal is different. Don't be over over generalized and believe that every dog is the same because they're not. You very well might be able to find a small dog that's not a lousy, noisy yipper that pisses you off. Just like you might get a big dog that just won't shut the hell up. So, <laughs> Super Flash cheered and said, "Your Minecraft world is so chill. Any tips you can give me to make my Minecraft world more chill?" Yeah, it's very simple. Make everything secure and put light everywhere so monsters cannot screw with you. And always have a bed with you so as soon as it gets nighttime you can sleep quickly. So you're not awake during the night and you can't get into trouble. Those are the two biggest pieces of advice I can give you from playing this for eight straight months. Magnus Flamebeard cheered. He said, Is it time for me to drift away into dreamland? Thanks for a chill stream. Have a great day off tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you Tuesday. You too, Magnus Flamebeard. Have a good night. Thanks for, for joining us and, and contributing tonight. And I'll, I will hopefully see you Tuesday as well. Have a good night. Mr. Papa Vera cheered. He said, I was about to list stuff useful to amass to trade with villagers to get lots of emeralds to get expensive items. It's all common items are easy to obtain, but it's about 30 items. I might make a list and leave them on the forums. All the common stuff you get mining, all the vegetables and all the uncooked meats and some miscellaneous blocks you commonly find in the wilderness and you would benefit from an ender chest. The ender chest is the chest that holds inventory and you can take it anywhere. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So people... Oh, shit. So people have told me about the ender chest. All right. Oh, shit. People have told me about the ender chest, but I'm not exactly sure how it works or uh, how to make one. I think people were saying I can't do it without materials that I don't have yet, right? Poopster Cheers said, amazing, it's been eight months of Minecraft. Yeah, dude, since December, I start, because if you remember, I did an Indies Marathon at the end of last year, and Minecraft was one of the games people picked to be a part of it. Even though technically Minecraft is not an indie anymore, it used to be, now it's owned by Microsoft, but people wanted to see me play it again, so I did, and people were like, man, you know, that was so fun, and you do such different kinds of streams now with the interaction, we'd love to see this more often, so I said, okay, why not? You know, put it into a rotation and see if it works as, like, a chilled-out stream. And the rest is history. I play it once a week, and people really, really seem to enjoy it. You know, no complaints on my end. I enjoy playing it. It's fun. It's different. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of content in the game, right? I have no idea if I'm going if I'm going to end up in the right direction going this way, by the way. I'm supposed to be going this way. Yeah, I'm just going to get out of the boat and start walking. And that's how it works in real life. Just jump out of your boat, punch it until it shrinks, put it in your pocket. That's how you get a boat around. <laughs> of course. Of course. You didn't know that? If only. You get out of your car, you don't want anyone to steal it. So you punch it until it shrinks, you put it in your car. It's like a matchbox car. You put it in your car. It's a Hot Wheels. Whoa. Is that a skeleton? How is... Wait a minute. How is that skeleton able to stand out there? Is it because this overcrop is blocking the direct sunlight? Yeah, because now it's burning. So it was just a, a very big rarity right there. The skeleton wasn't getting damaged. Okay. 
Alright. Well, I said sell, do sell. I don't think I've ever been to this part of the map before. Because I've been... See, I've been this far north, but not to this far west. I think I'm further west than I've ever been before right now. What's up, Freddy? Be killing it. How's it going, dude? He says, sorry, I haven't been around. I've been working a lot more. I'm trying to make more money. I hear you. Certainly, we've all been there. And uh, I welcome you to tonight's stream. we got about an hour left here on the Minecraft stream. As I head back to my place to try to get trading items. And also to plant some beetroot. And now I have the seeds for it. Alright. Another, another enemy on fire. He's on fire. Brrr. Mr. Papa Vera cheered. He said, Ender chest is eight obsidian. Combine one Ender pearl and one blaze rod powder. There you go. To make an eye of the Ender. Eye of the Ender gets put in the middle of the crafting table. I don't have the blaze rod. I knew it. Because people keep telling me to do stuff with the blaze rods. I don't have one. You have to go to the Ender. Fortress, or excuse me, the uh, fortress that's in the in the Nether, to do that, and I've never found a fortress in the Nether. I looked, and I could not find a fortress in the Nether, and it's too fucking dangerous to stay there long enough. So that's why I can't do any of that stuff yet. Terry says a lot of dogs and cats have different personalities, and sometimes they usually sleep inside or outside the house. That's true. You could have an indoor dog or an outdoor dog. You could have a hybrid. Sometimes it's inside. Sometimes it's outside. You know, the natural state of dogs is being outside. But a lot of people like to keep their dogs inside for safety purposes. Or, you know, they don't want to worry about them getting fleas and stuff living outside. You know, same thing with cats. You can have an indoor cat or an outdoor cat. An outdoor cat can be a lot more independent. It could even go out and hunt for its own food and stuff. At the same time, big potential that it could get into fights, get hurt, again, get fleas and, and shit, ticks. So... You know, there's a trade-off either way. Have I ever owned a dog? No, I have not. Nope. I've never owned a dog. I know many people who've owned dogs. Uh, I have relatives who've owned dogs, but I personally have never owned a dog before. What do I think of Sphinx cats, the hairless ones? They obviously look really weird, right? They look like a bag, a, a, a bag of skin, but... I'm sure they're just as cute and lovable as any other cat, you know. Just because they look weird doesn't mean that they are weird. Alright. Well, I'm well on my way. Now, honestly, I'm going to be honest here. I think this is a better way to get back to my house. Because if I go the other way, which is just directly south, there's too many... See the mountains? There's too many mountains in the way. And it ends up me, me, me jumping over mountains constantly. It's not fun. It's boring and annoying. This way, at least, I, I it's a flat... It's just like a straight run. Cookies... Wow, cookies only restore one food. I mean, I guess they are really just light sugar intake, right? I guess it makes sense. Eat those goddamn cookies. By the way, is it okay for me to eat these cookies? I don't think they're uh, particularly that interesting, right? You don't need them for anything, the cookies. Huh. I could hear what my brain says. You could portal gun your way back. I wish. That'd be awesome. I wish. Bruce said, the Elder Scrolls, Scroll, the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion is not a new game. However, it is a good game. From the, from the two times that I played it, I actually very much enjoyed it both times that I played it. Um, I just never got too far with it ever. I never beat it or anything. But it is a great game. I need that pumpkin for trade. So I might as well snag some of them now. Ooh. Ooh. Jack Spartacus says he got his first dog at 15 years old, and it was hard work at first. Oh, yeah. You know what? A lot of people try to undercut it or, or, or like, like play, downplay it. Having a pet is hard work. Having a pet, no matter what kind of pet it is, it's hard work because you're a parent to that pet. That pet is your child. You are responsible for the love and care and safety of that that creature when you take on that responsibility. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. They think it's just a joke or, oh, it's a no big deal. It's easy. Like, nah, you're taking on the responsibility for another life, man, another living being. 
and everything that that entails. And it may end up being time consuming. It may be frustrating. It might be pricey. And you got to accept all those burdens, you know, um, and take it seriously. And it could be really hard when you get a new pet that's not used to a new home or isn't used to a new, a new way of living. And it's really, it's, it's worried. It's afraid. It's scared. It gets agitated and angry and defensive all the time. And you know, what really pisses me off is when you get a pet owner that's not ready for it. And then they go back on it. So I'll give you an example. When Kat and I were in Connecticut, one of the things that we did is we went to pet stores because we like to go to different pet stores and look at pets because we love animals, both of us. You piece of shit. Anyway, we both love animals. We're both animal lovers, okay? And so we go to this pet store and this woman who works at the pet store is, is in front of this bird's cage. It's one of those condor birds or Connor or condor. I don't know how to say it. But it's those birds that are very, very social. They love human interaction, right? And... The bird is like, you can tell the bird, there's something wrong with the bird. It's not acting like it should. And the woman just happens to walk up and she says, oh, you're wondering what's wrong with him, right? I'm like, yeah, I wonder what's, what, you know, what's going on with this bird. She goes, well, we, uh, we have a two-week return policy. So these assholes came in here and spent like $600 on this bird. And we're doing zero research of what kind of a bird it was, how much time it took to raise it and everything. Basically took it out of this environment, right? put it into their home environment within within like one week they returned it claiming oh that's not the kind of bird i wanted i wanted a bird that was going to be like warming up to me and was going to be lovable and interactive and this bird just seems like it's very afraid like dude you just bought a fucking bird that was living in a cage at a fucking pet store which is not its natural habitat probably doesn't know what the fuck's going on in life you bring it into your home for only a week and you give up on it so now the bird is super traumatized because not only has it been living in a pet store, then it goes to a home that's trying to get used to, and then it goes back to the fucking pet store. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, if you're going to get a pet, sorry. Do all the research needed ahead of time. Know what you're doing when you're taking on that responsibility. Be a responsible goddamn human. Stop being, thinking that everything is just a joke and everything's in life is no responsibility easy. That's another fucking life you're taking care of. And that really pisses me off. Again, I know we talked about this, you know, that streamer who threw her cat over her head and spit vodka into the into the mouth of her cat. That shit really, really pisses me off. Because that is someone who does not deserve the privilege of having a nice pet. Does not deserve it and is basically mistreating the pet. And basically, you know, that's really fucked up in my opinion. And uh, that's what I mean. You People just don't take it seriously. Oh... It's no big deal. It's just a cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, it's just a cat. How about this? How about you come to my house? I'll fucking throw you behind my sofa and see how it feels when all your bones break when they hit the fucking floor. Oh, it's, it's just, it's nothing, right? It's nothing. Yeah, I, I take care of my pets, sure. <laughs> Piss me off, man. Alright, now let's get off the subject because I'm all agitated about mistreatment of animals. Okay. Hoops to cheer. I said, I totally agree, Phil. I think pet ownership would be more restrictive. It's amazing. Anyone could just walk in and buy a pet. I agree. You don't know what situation that animal's walking into. You'd be walking into a, a house with a million animals already that aren't taken care of, full of feces and filth. How, why does no one look into that shit? Ugh. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, fuck. I hate when that happens. <laughs> I hate it when I'm trying to go home and I fall in a fucking hole. There it is. There's my house. I knew I was close. Thank God I got this giant uh, lighthouse to guide my way. Home sweet home. What's wrong with people returning pets when they can't take care of them? What's wrong is that they shouldn't have bought the fucking pet to begin with. That pet now is all fucked up in the head. It thought it was going somewhere where it was going to live. Now it has no idea what the fuck's going on. Because now it's back at the pet store. Back to square one. And it's probably mentally screwed up for the rest of its life. If you're going to have a pet, you need to be responsible. You need to be sure you can raise that pet from the get-go. If you take that pet home, that pet is your responsibility from now on, period. 
And then there's, oh, I returned a pet after a week because I'm an asshole who didn't do any research about this kind of bird or how you raise it or nothing. And I just don't like the bird now, even though the bird's now fucked up and traumatized for life. Oh, I want to return it. <laughs> All right, well, here we are. Okay. What's up, Yoshino Lover? He says, Love the stream tonight. How have you been? Are you going to play any new EA Sports games this year? Earlier on the stream, Straight Cash Homie just said that he offered to, to donate Madden. So if he does do that, I will play Madden this coming week. Outside of that, no. I'm, like, people say, Are you going to play NHL? Nah. Are you going to play FIFA? Nah. Well, the llamas are uh, having some fun. <laughs> All right. We're back. We're back in action. So right off the bat, I'm going to harvest my pumpkins and my watermelon. I need those for trade. I thought I, I was going to say, I thought I had more than one watermelon. Okay, let's grab these quick. You know what? I might as well harvest everything. Oh, it's not. Never mind. It's not going to fit in my inventory. I was going to say I'll harvest everything. It ain't gonna, it ain't going to fit. Super Wombat says I had a hamster when I was a kid. Hamsters are, are very cute and easy to take care of. They're very, they're very, very loving and... In particular, if you get a hamster that's really used to you being around, it could be a really awesome time. Not all hamsters are like that. Some hamsters won't want to have a lot of human interaction. But if you can get a hamster to warm up to you, it's such a cool, a cool experience. I, you know, coming from me, I'm so, I've had hamsters twice in my life, and I love them. The only downfall, they die, they pass away really quickly. It's about two to two and a half years, so they don't last long, man. But they're awesome when they're here. Those away. I don't know why I have dirt. I must have just flown into my inventory by chance. So, first thing I need to do, I need to start smelting cobblestone. Um, because I need to make smooth stone to trade. See, I don't think I have any smooth stone. I think at one point I made it, but I used it on stuff. Oh, I have 20 smooth stone already. That's good. I got a head start. Here we go, coal to do it. Good, I'll grab a couple of those. That's good. Okay, I'll grab another one. I want to make a ton of smooth stone if I can. Let's get that going. Is it nighttime already? No, no, I thought it was nighttime. Oh, I already have coal. Nice, I already got these set up and everything. I was looking at my auto smelters, but I forgot about it. Oh, well. Let's get those working. That's good. I got my stone working already, right? Um, I need to grab as many pumpkins as I can get, as well as watermelon pieces. But I think the watermelon pieces I stored in food. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got a lot of watermelon pieces. I grabbed something by accident. What did I grab? Fish? Yeah, fish. I got a lot of watermelon. That's excellent. That's going to be a lot to trade. I think there's two people who wanted the watermelon. I'll grab that. There we go. That's probably enough. I don't have a lot of pumpkins, sadly. I wish I had more pumpkins. I guess what it is is they take a long time to grow. And I never was really actively harvesting them enough. So that's why I don't have that many. I need to get rid of this, this string. Where can I put... Oh, I need the sticks. I need to get rid of the string. Here, these... I can make sticks out of any... Ah, oh, shit. I can make sticks out of any of this stuff, right? Any wool, any standard wood, I can make sticks out of. Oh, shit. I'm going to make a shitload of sticks. All right, let's work on that. Vote Democrat Tree said, how many, how many people do you think will show, show up to Storm Area 51? Uh... I'm sure a significant amount of idiots will show up. But I couldn't. I couldn't give you an idea how. DJ Runo cheered. He said, "I'm planning on getting a dog. I'm too sure if I, if I have enough time to look after it with eight work with eight hour workdays. 
now I help out at the animal shelter, which is nice. That is nice because you get to see animals and you get to help animals, and that's a good feeling, right? Um, okay. That's a lot of sticks, but it's not too many because I need a ton. I need like to trade five, six, seven, eight times with sticks. I gotta get rid of some of this other shit. Get it out of my inventory now. Get this out of here. Get these name tags out of here. I gotta go plant these seeds as well. These beetroots. I can go do that. What time is it right now? It's still daytime. Okay. Uh, Mr. Papa Bear Cheers, I was going to show you a farm design, not for the villagers to use, but yourself to have crops a dozen different plants, and you can use them all to trade uh, with the farm hand at, at multiple levels. It's a design that the frame is only cobble blocks. It's minimal, nothing complicated. The farm is 30 or 30 wide and 12, 12 tall. Holy shit, it's multiple, multiple levels of farming, huh? What I think I should do, I should get rid of some of the stuff that I, I don't really need anymore. Plus, I have empty plots here. Oh, shit. I need to till the land. I need a shovel to till the land or I can't do it. Do I even have a shovel? I might not even have a shovel. I might have to craft a wooden one. An El Cheapo wooden one here. I don't think I have it. Wow. I gotta sleep as well because now it's getting nighttime. All right, let's sleep. Okay. Soon alone, cheers. Do you have any advice on coping with depression? You seem to keep together pretty good. I found out about you and your depression through... Uh, oh, my God. I don't know why I read that. Never mind. I should have known better. All right, get the fuck out. <laughs> I should have known better that you'd... Have Someone would actually be nice and open and genuine about something like that. That it's just an asshole. It's just a fucking asshole. It's just another human turd. Sigh. Why can't I plant the beetroot seeds? Guys, do you know what's going on? Why can't I plant beetroot? I want to plant it. It won't let me. What the fuck? I still won't let me plan it. I still can't do it. It has to be a farmland block. What the fuck is a farmland block? You need a hoe, not a shovel? Oh. Fuck. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Anyone know what that's from? Ay, 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 ay. Someone must know what that is. Shout out to Planet Jeff. Actually, take it back to Planet Theft. Uh, Planet Theft. I think he spelled his name wrong, but it's definitely with an F here. Planet Theft took me $21. He said, more misadventures. Quote from Don Quixote. May give this one if it turns out. Alright, Planet Theft. Huh. I gotta put what it said in the tip. $21 tip. That is the top contribution of the night. That gets us up to $83 in tips. Thanks so much, everybody. Alright, so we've got about roughly 30 minutes left on tonight's stream. So right now it's Planet Theft. Who's... <laughs> Planet Theft was the top contribution. Um, but, uh... Depending on how it goes, will he be the, the top contributor by the end of the night? We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. I finally figured it out. Thank you guys for helping me with that because it's been a long time since I did farming. I was confused as hell. 
We're gonna have an aneurysm. Okay, so if I do it here, right? This should work. I should have beetroot. So, all right, over here the melons are gonna regrow. So I shouldn't fuck with that. I should leave the spot for the melons. But right here there's a spot. Right? That's the spot for the melons. In fact, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. The melons already regrew. Watch these not grow right now. Well, I think they'll. I still think they'll grow. I gotta leave those spots for those melons. But I think I have one more spot here I could do, like that. These are not. I don't think these are close enough to water, but I could be wrong. I could still try. Let's see if they grow. I don't know if they're going to. All right, so that's some beets. Beets I got growing now. That's good. All right. <clears throat> I mean, having with my farm. I mean, overall, my farm's been very useful. It's been very nice. Crap, I gotta get rid of a lot of my inventory if I'm gonna harvest my stuff. Okay, um. I'll take five groupings of the melon. Yeah, five. Um, I need a lot more sticks, I think. I gotta make more sticks. So let me make more inventory space here. I gotta put these bones away. Get those bones out of here to make space. And let me put the hoe away now. I don't need the hoe anymore. Vote Democrats uh, cheered and said, I thought about any ideas for a new tier 2 or tier 3 emo. Or did we get a few extra subs out of it? A lot of people thought t -pose would be good for a high tier emo. For tier 2 or tier 3. But... I guess the problem is there's no high quality images. Like, here's me T posing, okay? See, it's kind of shitty. It's from the webcam. I, there's no, like, good pictures of me T posing in good quality. So, people are like, man, if we're going to do an emote, we'd rather have better quality. But I don't have time to take pictures of myself fucking T posing and then open them to the internet so people could do it. You know what I mean? By the way, bottle crunch, everybody. Someone named User Levels of XP says, Don't hoard your XP. You need to use them or lose them. The more levels you accumulate, the harder it is to gather more, so use them right away. Do not forget. Okay. How about... How about... My fishing rod. Look at the C2 lore... Look at the C3 lore 3 mending 1. <clears throat> Can I do Unbreaking 3 on it? Let's find out. Yes. Cost 7. Okay. Nice. That's good. That works. My pick has fortune two, mending one, and efficiency of four. Can I put a fourth item on there? What would I want to put on there? I don't think so. I don't think I have any more pick enchanted pickaxes. No, I don't. Never mind. What about my bow? I'm breaking three, flame one, infinity one, punch two. Power 4, Infinity 1, Punch 2. How about... Okay. How about I get rid of something? Right? I, I don't care about Flame. Maybe I could replace Flame with that? I don't know how that works, though. I'd rather have a Power 4 than Flame. <clears throat> I don't know if that's how it works. What? What? It's allowing me to do five? I thought you could only do four on an item. Did they change it? I always thought you could only have four on an item. This is telling me you could do five. Holy shit, this would be insane. 
Power and Flame and Infinity and Punch and Unbreaking. That's insanely sick. <laughs> okay. I, I think I'm going to do it. Um, DJ Runo Chitty said, if you ever made a T-Post email, people are going to crucify you with Photoshop. I'm calling it. Nihilistic Goldfish, resubscribe for four months. It says, Nihilistic Goldfish has resubscribed for four months in a row. Thank you very much, Nihilistic Goldfish, for the continued support. There you go. I guess I'm just going to do it. This is crazy good. I had no idea you could have five things. I had no clue. That blows me away. Huh. Straight Cash Homie, he did a $2 tip. He says, well, I will not be able to be the top contributor, but I can ask you for a Minecraft DSP emote. Uh, you know what? It might be possible if someone can think of a good idea of what we could do for a Minecraft emote. Uh, I think I have a spot. I'm serious. I think I have an open spot for an emote. If anyone has any ideas of what we could do for a Minecraft emote, we might be able to do it. Alright, let's see. Everything else is pretty much the same. Yeah, they're all pretty much the same. All right, at least I use some levels, right? At least I use some levels. I'm down to level 20. That's perfectly fine. Okay. So. Uh, I got as many pumpkins as I can harvest. Excuse me. I got watermelon. I got some coal. I should probably grab more if I have it. Let me grab two things of coal. Okay. Um... And I need to make sticks. I need to make more sticks right away. How about incorporating something chill into the emote somehow? Says Poopster. What would be what would be a chill emote for Minecraft that we could do? Hmm. Yeah, you're meh, meh, meh. Okay. So I'll take four, four groupings of 64 sticks. Yep. Oh, it's getting dark again? Yeah, it is. Okay, hold on. Put the 25 sticks away. Let me sleep. Then I'm going to look at how the stone smelted. I'm good, Ratty Bag. Thank you for asking. Yes, uh, Derek loves Lemur. I saw Fantastic Mr. Fox, the movie, a long time ago. Once. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Alright, I got some stone to trade. Good. I think we're good to go now. Let's put away this cobblestone. Wait, what? Stone, stone, stone. Why won't why won't it combine them? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why won't it combine the stone? Look, stone, 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 but it won't combine the 20 and the 17. Watch this. It won't combine them. It's a it's a glitch. It won't combine this 20 and this 17 into one stack. It keeps them separate no matter what I do. It takes up an extra inventory space. Why does it do that? That's got to be a, a, some kind of a game error. There's no reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever. Okay, so. I think we're ready to go. All the only thing I should do is maybe take some more cooked food. Like some cooked fish and stuff. Yeah, so I have more food to eat. But outside of that... 
I think I'm good. So I got pumpkins, watermelon, sticks, coal, and stone. Oh shit. Sticks and stones, watermelon, pumpkins, coal. There was a sixth thing. What was it? Oh, fuck. Do you guys remember what the sixth thing was that I needed to trade? Because I can't remember. Shout out to, let's see here. Uh, Nihilus the Goldfish cheered and said, What have you been working on this stream? Got here sadly. Uh, sadly, Sunday is the only way I work in the night. Um, he got here late, I guess he's saying. Oh, uh, what we did, we did a lot of stuff in the village where I set up trading in the village. So I knew what I was going to need to trade with the villagers. I also did a lot of fishing. There was a thunderstorm and stuff. Um, and then I tracked all the way back home here. I planted beetroot for the first time. And I'm gra grabbing all the items I need to trade with the villagers. Okay. <clears throat> Iron. Thank you, Redacted Code. I need iron ingots. You are right. Iron ingots. So, I don't think... Sadly, I don't think I have many, if any. I'm pretty sure I use almost everything. Um, 30 ingots. That's it? Wow. Wow. That's all I have. 30 ingots. That's not a lot to trade with, but... Yeah, I guess it's gonna have to be for now. I don't even have any iron ore. To, to do anything with. Okay, um, Coral Guy resells resell for 29 months. He just filled, just got back from camping in the Berkshires. I miss your Wolfenstein playthrough. What's your impression so far? Worth $30. Wolfenstein, the young blood, has gunplay that's very similar to what you would expect from Wolfenstein. And it also has stealth elements and some elements where you can use, like, super powered to punch things and use melee like you've done in previous Wolfenstein games, okay? But. The game's structure was completely changed. It's basically now a, a combo between Wolfenstein, Crisis. Remember Crisis when you would play through it and earn different abilities via things you would choose. You could either do more stealth or more more uh, bullying kind of melee style. You have to do that now because the two main characters wear these super suits and you do that as you level up. Yes, you actually level up in the game unlike previous Wolfenstein games. And there's an open world mission structure similar to Dishonored. So you have to do a lot of side missions, a lot of looting. I know that's something new for Wolfenstein, looting a lot. You usually wouldn't do that. You just grab ammo. No, this game you got to grab a lot of looting items to upgrade your weapons via currency system as well. So there's an RPG-style leveling system with both the weapons and the characters. You can have a branch, a tree of abilities that you can choose how you want to play the game. And open-world mission structure with side missions. So it's a combination of a lot of stuff. However... I do feel the game lost a lot of its personality. There really aren't that many interesting characters. The plot's very bare bones. And you can tell they really kind of rushed it. And it's meant to be an abridged-style Wolfenstein game. I'm almost done with it. I'm only eight hours in. So probably one more session, I've beaten the whole thing. So, there you go. <clears throat> Is it worth $30? It's definitely not worth 60 Is it worth half? I, if you like Wolfenstein games, you'd probably say, yes, it's worth 30 But it's really a subjective deal. Okay, um, Machine King 131313 13, 13, tipped me $5. Have you ever had a severe rash on your inner left thigh? No, I have not. That does not sound good, dude. That sounds pretty bad, and you might want to get that looked at if you have one. Uh, you might want a doctor ASAP. Poofster cheered and said, shout out to Derek Loves Lemurs. There you go. He actually got a nice shout out. Okay, so, I think, I think, we're, yeah, this is a glitch with this fucking stone. It's so weird. Then it won't come by. I think we're good to go. Now I have a super powered bow. That's crazy powerful. Uh, we got a bed. I got plenty of food if I need it. And I got all my trade items on me. So I think I'm ready to go back. Kate cheered said, How are you going to watch the show based on how Wu-Tang Clan got created? Uh, no, I'm not going to watch that. I don't really give a shit. Um, Frog's playing golf cheered said, See you later, Derek. I didn't, it wasn't where Derek was leaving. Said, <laughs> okay. That's the new meme. Say, see you later, Derek, before Derek actually even leaves, or if Derek's not even here. That's the new idiot meme. From the, from the from the dumb and the brainless comes the hot new meme, see you, Derek. In a world where brainless idiots actually have value in repeating pointless phrases, comes a meme so stupid, only a moron would repeat it. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's go. By the way, is that a bat? What the hell's a bat doing out here? Am I supposed to have bats outside? Go away. Okay. We're heading back. So this will be our head back. 
We'll get to the village, do some trades, and that'll probably be it for the night. Right now, it is Planet Jeff. Excuse me, Planet Theft. Currently in the lead with a $21 tip. Um, so he'll be able to choose what he wants if he is still the winner. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Um, Straight Cash Show Me says, Wolfenstein or Far Cry New Dawn, which is better? Can't answer that. I didn't play Far Cry New Dawn. I knew that that shit was going to be a shameless cash in, so I skipped it. And I don't regret skipping it. And uh, I, can't I can't make the comparison because I did not play it. That would be pretty unfair of me. Derek says you should get a lot of emeralds from these trades, right? I should. Indeed, I should. I should amass quite a lot of emeralds. We'll see. Yes, usual levels of XP. I realize I am still at 20 XP, but I didn't really see anything else I could do with my items at this moment. I wasn't sure what else I would want to do with it or craft, so... No, Planet Jeff, I know if you're saying it's you who tipped, I believe you. You're a long-time viewer. You're a long-time supporter. I believe that's your tip. I'm not going to ask for verification and think that you're lying or anything. I believe that that is you who tipped, so no problem. I know that's you. If no one else beats it, you're the top contributor of the night, and you'll get to pick something else to get named by the end of the stream. What am I doing? I'm supposed to be heading north. <laughs> Going the wrong way. The bottom line says, someone said if you put a power 4 on a power 4, it becomes a power 5. I guess we could try that later. I didn't know that. We could always test that theory later. Okay. The Denny's close to you closed. The Denny's close to me closed, too. <laughs> I don't know why. We, Kat and I went there twice. We thought the food was all right. I mean, Denny's is Denny's. It's not gourmet food, but it's not bad either. They have a decent selection of variety of food. We went there twice. We go back there a third time. Closed. Like, uh, damn. And the thing is, when we went there, too, they were busy. It wasn't like, oh, they're a slow Denny's with no business and they're going to shut down. They were always busy. I don't know why they closed. It's very weird. <clears throat> Yes, Derek, I did hear about the Mr. Rogers movie, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, and that he'll be played by Tom Hanks. Pretty interesting. From all intents and purposes, everyone who ever knew Mr. Rogers said he was like one of the best humans ever. That he was a minister, but he was a minister who was incredibly understanding. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. Keep in mind, when, when this show was on TV, it was a very different time. And if you were a homosexual and people found out you were a homosexual, basically you would get written out of TV shows and stuff, okay? So one of the characters on his show was a homosexual, and he found out about it, and he literally pulled him aside and said, dude, I don't give a crap, but I love you. I want you to be on this show, so whatever you do, you better hide this because the people in charge are bigots, and they are going to be very nasty to you and probably get you off the show if they find out, you know? So please, please do whatever you can to withhold this information. I mean, talk about a different era. Today, people are applauded for being you know, out with who they are. Back then, you had to hide your true identity and shit because things were so fucking different. But, I mean, what a nice guy, right? That he he didn't care. He just knew the guy was a great person and a good, you know, good addition to the show. And he wanted the guy to keep being on the show. So, basically, he did everything he could to protect the guy's identity and keep that, that a secret so he could continue to be on the show. That's pretty fucking awesome. What the fuck? Oh. Uh... <laughs> okay. That was not supposed to be like that. That was definitely an error of some sort. But let's uh, get to the shore and get to sleep. <laughs> Alpha Merch to me $10. Let's go a little bit further down the beach. Alpha Merch to me $10. Thank you very much, Alpha Merch, for the $10 tip. I appreciate it. Dude, there's enemies everywhere. I can't land. Everywhere I go, there's more enemies. Here, I'm fucking... Oh, my God. Yeah, I can land over here. The problem is now I'm getting further... I know that directly west is where the village is, but I'm going too far north now, and I'm going to have a hard time finding it, I bet. 
But anyway, thank you very much, Alpha Birch, for the $10 tip. I appreciate that very much, man. Time to sleep. Okay. Alright, so, we're up to $100 in tips tonight. Good lord, thank you, everyone. I don't know what happened. You guys are, like, super generous tonight. I appreciate that very much. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Jesus, man. Don't talk about cutting it fucking close, dude. Wake up with a fucking creeper in your lap. All right. We gotta find the village, and we gotta head due west. Zombie Abe just here said one on the gay thing. You say you don't do sexual content anymore because it's immature. Yet when two guys are in a video game doing something, you bring massive attention to it and giggle like a schoolgirl. Well, maybe that's something I gotta work on. I'm not a perfect guy, you know. I'm not perfect, and you know, I do need to improve. I always admit that I have flaws, and maybe that's one of the things I need to work on. You're you're right. You're right. Here you go. Thanks for calling me out. Thanks for reminding me that I am not a perfect human and not a good role model and that I have room to improve because, you know what? Some people just get so full of themselves and it's glad I'm glad that I have 5 million people on the internet every day here to make fun of me, degrade me, bring me down to the level of dirt to let me know that I'm a human piece of filth and that uh, <laughs> nothing I do is of any value. Thanks very much. All right. What a scene to be a dollar. So that reminded me of Ever Dance with the Devil in the Pale Moonlight. Oh, yeah. Ever Dance with the Devil in the Pale Moonlight. Oh, it's just something I say to all of my victims. Okay, Joker. Okay, Jack Nicholson. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Oh, my God. It's the rare berry bushes that Papa Vera told me about Five million years ago. I finally ran into the climate that has them. So if I see those red berries, that's the thing I need. Oh my god. Papa Vera, can you believe it? I finally found them. I gotta look around for more. That's the only two I've ever seen in the whole game. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more right now. I mean, that was a rare find, but... Yeah, I don't see any more, man. I guess I'm in the right biome for it, but I don't see any more. Nope, don't see them. What is it with my game not spawning those berries? Those berries are like the hottest commodity. Yeah, see, now I'm in a new biome already. See, that's going to be a different biome. As I get closer to the village, it's going to be a different biome, so... Damn, I'm only going to find two berries. Oh, well. Oh, there's another one. Three berries. Why are they hiding? The world... You know what it is? These sheep ate them all. These fucking sheep came out and ate all the berries. Come on, man. Leave some goddamn berries for the rest of us. Here, you. Did, you. did you eat a couple berries whole? Have a slap your ass. Craft some out for me. Uh, I guess I'm only going to get three. Stinky Dick says, once you farm the berries, you can use them to line up along your village fence. The thorns damage mobs waiting at the fences. Yeah, I know. That was one of the big defensive things that everyone recommends for towns in this game. That's the first grouping of them I've ever seen in the entire fucking game. Ow. Alright. I gotta try to get to this village. I might have... Uh, sadly, I might have gone too far north. So I may end up having to go south again. But I know I'm not far enough west. It's about... The middle. So I, I say... See right where that notch is in my map? The next notch at the top of my map. It looks like there's grooves in the map. That next notch is about where the town is. Or the village, I guess. You'd say. Oh, man. What kind of berries were they, asked Derek? They're, I, I forget what they're called, but essentially what they are, they're prickly bushes. So they look fine, but if you walk in them, you take damage, and they slow you down, you get stuck in them. So apparently they're a perfect way to defend stuff. You could surround a perimeter with them, and any enemies will literally just get stuck in the berries, and they won't be able to hurt anything. 
Aha! I have arrived. Time to chow down on cookies. Very nice. If a viewer walked up to me in person and asked me to pull his finger, would I do it? No. It's disgusting. It's absolutely revolting. Why would I do that? Okay. Here it is. Cool. <clears throat> I just gotta get over the ravine. The deadly ravine. That's right next to the village. <clears throat> ah! Mr. Bubba Bear says you can also use those berries as a food. You can trade them with them and you can feed the foxes to get treasure. <laughs> what? You can feed to a fox to get treasure. That sounds awesome. Stingy Dink says those berries actually respawn quickly, so they're a good food item. Ah. Yeah, Derek, think of it like a thorn bush, you know? Like, some plants look nice, and you walk in the bush, all of a sudden you're stuck, you're getting fucking pricked and shit. That's basically what those berries are, prickly thorn bushes. On nature's natural defense. Alright, we've got just enough time to do a few trades before I adjourn for tonight. Excellent. Things worked out very well tonight. Good productive stream. Just gotta find the entrance gate. There it is. Okay. Let's see who I can trade with, or who I want to trade with. Uh, no. See, I don't want to trade with this guy. He won't accept any more. Uh, we? Yeah, I don't want to trade with that guy. <clears throat> this guy wants the clay until I get to level 2, so I can't do the stone yet. Everyone's walking over here. Look. Are they, are they going to have their daily food fight? I think that's what this is. They're about to have their daily food fight. This guy wants potatoes. Darn, I don't have any. Aha, here we go. What? It only worked twice. Why did it only work? Dude, it only worked once and then it grayed out. That's weird. I have ridiculous amounts of stone. Look. I think it's glitched. What the fuck happened? They all ran. Well, Zolus did a 70-bit cheer. He says, don't the berries reinforce diamond boots by boosting crystal healing powers? I have no idea. Asking the wrong person on that one. Why'd they all run to their houses? Why'd they all run to their houses? Someone ring the bell. Is there a monster or something? I didn't ring the bell. Someone else did. Do they ring the bell if they see a monster? I don't see or hear a monster. I hear the zombie. That's the zombie that lives under the ground. Yeah, they're coming back out now. I think it was. A, I think it was an error. This guy wants coal. Okay. Nice, I hit level two. Now he wants fish? Are you kidding me? You know how many fucking fish I have? I'm gonna go get those right now. God damn it. Alright, now where did he go? Here we go. I ran out. That's it. That's the limit. So now if I trade gems back to him, he'll give me... What are these? Bonfires or some shit? Nice. He level three. Now he wants the salmon. 
He wants the slamming salmon. Oh shit! I co oh here's the raw. He's back. Where'd he go? Here he is. I need more. Raw salmon. Raw salmon. <clears throat> Shit, where did he go? Shit. Where is he? That's not him. Crap. I don't know where the fisherman went. Darn it. I was doing good trades. I guess I gotta go to sleep. I don't know where he went. That's not him. That's Mr. Twister. It's not him. This guy wants the toolsmith that wants coal. Whoa! 36 gems. He gives me a bell. That sucks. I need to find more coal. I don't have enough. I guess I gotta go to sleep. I gotta wait for the fisherman to come back. I don't know where he went. I gotta finish my trades with the fisherman. Alright guys, literally like five minutes left on the stream. So if anyone wants to try to beat Planet Jeff for top contribution, you're gonna have to do it right now. But FYI, Planet Jeff, please think about what you want to name. And let me know within the next five minutes. And then we'll try to name it by the end of the stream, okay? Where'd that fisherman go? You guys are trading. It's this... Dude, it's glitched. I have these stones. They don't work. For some reason, that's why I couldn't combine those stones with these stones. Even though it says stone, there's something wrong with it. I got... I've glitched inventory. That sucks. Darn, I need gravel to do a trade with this guy. He's almost level 2, the Fletcher. I don't think I have any gravel. Never mind. I found the fisherman. Oh, I maxed. I did it. Now I need tropical fish. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I think the tropical fish are the rarer ones. Yes, yeah, see? They're like really rare. Oh man. Yeah, even, even all the fishing I've done here, I only have 12. Oh crap. Where did the fisherman go? He fucking ran away. This guy's a farmer, right? He wants beets. I don't have any beets. I have pumpkins. That's it. He's already maxed. Nice. Uh, now I have to trade for cookies, which I don't want to do. Then he wants eggs. There's the fisherman. Damn. So the only way to get him to level 5, right, is to do these high-level uh, gem trades, which I don't want to do. They're not going to do a lot. Watch. I'm going to do one... I'm going to do one for three. It does nothing. I knew it. did nothing. Oh. You basically got to do this, which is going to be a complete ripoff. 
Damn. Uh, soon a loan took me a dollar, and he's an idiot, and you know you're. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna read it. Thanks for the dollar tip, idiot. A bunch of apples on the floor. That's a fisherman, right? Yep, level four fisherman. Damn. Well, I can't max anyone right now. What I need to do is basically do low-level trades, right? To get a bunch of gems so I can do the high-level trades with the guys who are, like, level 3 and 4. It's the only way I'm going to get it done. Nah, he wants potatoes. I don't have potatoes. I'd have to go harvest some. Who else is around? <clears throat> Gold bars. Fat chance I'd ever trade gold bars to this fucking guy. Huh? Wheat. I don't have any wheat on me. Oh, he's level three. Here we go. He level four. Now I need to get eggs. I could get a ton of eggs from back at my place. Whoa, look, level five mastery tree, four emeralds for whatever the hell that is. I don't even know what that is. It's like a weird looking watermelon. Here's Mr. Twister. Nice. He's also level four. He also ready for eggs. Cool. I got rid of all my pumpkins now. That's excellent. All my pumpkin trading. You can trade, look at that, you can trade one emerald for a pie. Dude, I hit him level five, what is it? Glistering melons? All right, I gotta get, he's a max level. So ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Twister, my one farmer who actually has a name, has ma my first maxed villager. He's a max level farmer. And I'm going to get the glistening lemon. No, excuse me. Glistering le melons. I got it. I don't know what the hell they are. Where are they? Wait, where? Oh. I don't have inventory space. Fuck, what can I drop? <laughs> Shit. I guess I should... You know what I should drop? The glitched stone that I can't do anything with. Okay. Glistering melon. What in the fuck is a glistering melon? I have no idea. Shake Cat, show me cheers. It's a fun stream today. Lots of progress. Actually, tip me $2. Excuse me. Thank you. Sin alone, I am not going to be talking to you anymore. I'm done with you. So, you know, you keep tipping me. I'm just going to ignore you. Seriously, I'm not putting up with this shit. All right, so... I don't know what you do with the gl glistering melons, but maybe it's a rare item. See you later, Derek. Have a good night. Mr. Papa Vera Cheery said you can eat the glistening melon. If you use it to make potions, it makes health potions. Interesting. So it's a rare crafting item. My first max person is the named person, Mr. Twister. That's pretty awesome. All right. Very nice. So it's been a long time. I'm actually surprised I didn't get a trophy. I thought I'd get like an achievement for having a max, a max villager, but they didn't give me one. Kind of lame. All right, so that's it. Uh, Planet Jeff, you are the top contributor. What would you like named for tonight? I will name something for you. Let me go ahead and eat some crap. Put all this shit away. Cookies and shit. Put it all away. For now, anyway. I figure out what I want to do next. I got a cake. What the hell's all that noise? What's all that noise behind me? <laughs> What's going on? Ooh. 
Mr. Papa Vera Charity said you can eat the glistening melon and if you use it to make potions, it makes health potions. Oh, I already saw that. Planet Jeff, what is your idea? What would you like named for you tonight? Or would you like to think about it? He says, my last donation didn't even go through. Name something you like. Something I like? What do you mean you're like, oh, you, mean you meant the tip and the tip didn't go through? That happened. I've heard that happen sometimes. Yeah, I didn't see another tip, uh, Jeff. The last one I, the last, we had Alpha Merch tw uh, 22 minutes ago. That was $10, and there was a bunch of dollars and a $2. So, if you tipped again, it did not go through. Um, he says, mean something I like. He wants me to name something. Oh, man. All right, let's see. I need a name tag. All right. I will name something myself then. Where's my anvil? Fuzzy. Wait a minute. I only want one. Oh, fuck. I only want one name tag. Not ten of them that say fuzzy. Fuck! Ah! And I'm gonna name a sheep Fuzzy. Oh, I guess we'll name the sheep over here Fuzzy. Fuzzy the sheep. Fuzzy. Fuzzy the sheep. Can to make sure that sheep survives. <laughs> that we named it. Alright, well thank you everyone tonight for an awesome, chill stream of Minecraft. We actually got a lot done. Um, I got a lot of progress with the villagers, which is excellent. Looks like it's actually we can sleep to end the stream too. Pretty nice. <clears throat> um, thanks, obviously, to everyone who contributed tonight. Lots of cheering. Lots of tipping. Everything was tremendous tonight. Very positive. Poofs are just a great stream tonight, Phil. Yes, thank you. Thanks to everyone who contributed and hung out with me. This was a really good Minecraft stream, in my opinion, anyway. <clears throat> I actually had a really good time. Let's sleep. And let's save. Mr. Papa Vera just said, all hail Fuzzy. Fuzzy the sheet. All right, let's save up. And we will resume next time right from here. Very nice.